What is going on all you boob tubers out there? It's Matt with Beardius Gaming coming at you with yet another episode of Baldur's Gate. Not gonna lie, had a little bit of a downtime there. Spit it out. Uh, it's been about oh jeez. Probably a week uh, since recording. I had recorded some episodes of our um, illustrious um, Fallout campaign, and I don't know, I was just, I, I got sick, I'm still sick, and I'm not sure how my voice is going to come through, um, I'm hoping rather well, not too, too chotched up, not too stuffy, and um, just completely gross sounding, um, but you never know, and let me actually, I don't even know what's going on here, I'm going to see if I can adjust, let's see, Let's see how that sounds. That sounds a bit better, to me anyway. I don't know about you. Maybe you prefer the other. Let me know. I'm just trying, playing around with some settings on the microphone. Um, not really 100% sure where we last left off, but I'm thinking it was... Yeah, I think we just took care of that that asshole Basilisk, um, that creeper. He was just being a complete weirdo about things. He was just hanging out with dead bodies and kind of getting his necrophilia on, I think, so... Um, definitely uh, pulled a win off for the good guys there by taking him out. And now we're just uh, we're just wandering around. Oh, we got a wolf here. Let's take Fire care of him. Fun! Why the <laughs> hell are you're a you queer fellow. doing that, Emily? You're not a frontliner. Get back there, you silly, silly what you woman. Want this way? We got a chicken. The thank you, Cluck. You have saved Cluck me. I fear of taking one too many blows to the head. Next, I'll be hearing hamsters speak. Thank you. Yes, Cluck. That was just what I needed in my Cluck hour of need. You laugh it up while I Cluck learn to cope with passing eggs. My apologies, good, um, chicken. What has caused your current accursed state? Thank the Cluck mother of all magic. Mayhaps now I might end this Cluck nightmare. I am Melancamp or Melicamp of Baragost, a Cluck mage adept in the mystical arts. A misread incantation seems to be Cluck the source of my troubling form. Tis been over a month since I Cluck uttered a polymorph spell and I simply cannot return to my normal Cluck form. Is there anyone that might be able to assist you? I fear I have little in the way of magical power myself. Blast it all. Well, there is nothing else I Cluck can do except my most hated option. There is a tower directly to the west of Cluck Baragost, about which can be found the mage Thalantir. I am his apprentice, and I am certain he will Cluck aid me. Then to his abode we shall go. I will escort you. Thank you. It's located to just to the west of Baragost. Thalantir lives in a large manor there. I'll just nestle in your pack until we get there. Now, we have a little... Wait, where's the chicken go? Oh, there he is. I guess Khalid got chosen to. You right. I'm on it. To uh, protect the chicken. That's pr probably the best. I mean, Minsk, Boo. He might get a little jealous with Boo and everything. So that's. I mean, we got we got to keep the animals away from Minsk. He gets weird about them. Minsk might not let him go. We're talking. Say, next thing we know, we'll claim that the chicken is a space chicken. And we're going to have all sorts of issues. So, to Thalantir we shall go. If uh, the pathfinding will help us out here. Let's see. Alright, so it's dark out. Right, what's this then? It took 16 hours. No, it seems like it was a stone's throw. Alright guys, come on. Come on, Jahira. You are one of our frontliners, so... Let's get you up here. Let's go see what Thalantir has got to say about... Our amigo. I'm looking a little beat up. I might have to throw some heels down. Alright, so I still don't trust these golems. I don't know if I've yet to really see if Go they on, activate after you talk to Thalantir. So I am not even going to go near them. Plus, Thalantir's just grumpy anyway. I have a feeling he'd be upset if I was just wandering around his house. Why do I live in such a pissed town? I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. 
Well, it's uh, rather amusing, actually. You see, I happen to rescue this um, talking chicken. Chickens do not talk, so quite obviously it is a polymorphed being of some kind. Spells such as that wear off in time, or can be dispelled. It is a simple matter, and one not worth the waste of my day. Keep moving. I am quite aware of the mute status of chickens, thank you very much. Yes, this is a transformed man, but it is also a man who claims to be your apprentice. That is why I brought him here. Excuse me. Apprentice? I have had no apprentice. I teach no one about what I... Wait. Melacamp? Melacamp, is that you? Yes, Master Thalantir, it is Cluck I. I am no master to you, and you are no apprentice. What gall you have to expect help from me? He is not your student, but you do know of him, do you not? A student wishes to learn, while this fool wishes only to have knowledge. I will tutor no one who does not understand the ramifications of what I have to teach. Not getting the quick gratification he wished, he instead chose to steal from me. You speak of so much, but show so little. I only wish to cluck learn a fraction of the power you possess. It has taken me some fifty-odd years of life to gain the power I wield, and the will not to use it. You are but a baby in comparison. Frankly, I'm surprised you changed into such an old chicken. How did you manage that, by the by? You were muddling the simplest cantrip when I last observed you. I have progressed much since then, and I cluck borrowed a few items to speed the process. As I thought. Well, it's obvious you can steal my tools, but not my understanding of them. Hold still while I dispel this foolish facade. Can't very well get my property back while it's polymorphed into... Wait a moment. I do not possess any items that allow the casting of that enchantment. Wait. Oh, dear. Melacamp, listen very carefully. What did you take? Nothing too valuable, I swear. Just some cluck components, a few scrolls, a beat-up pair of bracers, a blank spell book, some parchment... A pair of... Oh, no, you little fool. The bracers in my locked and trapped safe. I certainly hope you can develop a taste for chicken feed, because you are going to be stuck the way you are for a very long time. I know I stole from you, but you can't leave me like this. Please, Master Thalantir, please, cluck. It's not a matter of whether I wish to help or not, simply that I do not have the power to undo what you have done. Is there nothing that can be done? I am willing to help however I can. If you are willing, then I will do what must be done. We will need a component that I do not have on hand, and it will be your job to get it. I will require the head of an undead creature, and a simple skeleton skull will do. Bring it back here, and I will try to bend a few magical rules to reincarnate this foolish boy. Reincarnate? But does that spell not require Cluck, the recipient, to be dead? There must be a dead element, yes. That is what the skull is for. I cannot fully explain what I am to try, but it's something of a reversal on the reincarnation scheme. The age of the enchantment that changed you may allow for a loophole in the laws of magic. Of course, it may just kill us both in the casting, such as life. Off you go to some dungeon or another. Return with the skull. Go. Spit it out. Sorted. Now, fortunately... You rang. Sorted. Thalantiers. Are you fucking kidding me? For the fallen! I will always end. <laughs> I'm on it. Goddamn black bear charging me as soon as I come out the gates here. Alright, let's see if we can't find a skeleton. Luckily, skeletons seem to just hang out around this dude's house, so... It shouldn't be too much of an issue, but of course, this is probably where RNG is going to just bite me right in the hiney. And I'm going to be walking around for hours looking for a goddamn skeleton. It's not going to manifest itself. That's usually how it works with me. Whenever I need one, I can run into them all day long when I don't need them, and they're just a massive annoyance to me. Then when I actually need one, yeah, the whole thing goes out the window. There's Kiffin, still just hanging out, being a D-bag about things. Like I said, I, you know, from what I hear, I've never used it myself, but I've read quite a bit up on the uh, forums about party composition and what have you. Um, there we go, yes! Go on, man. Where are we going to put you? We'll put you there. Uh, uh, Khalid, where are you at? You, Alright, you take that. Jahira, you there. Oh, Minx, just start... Start lobbing bombs. Yep. Called. Nah, that's a lot of... Ooh, I'm taking hits. Alright, Khalid, you, you need to get me? up there. All right, Abdul. Awesome. You just keep doing your thing, homeboy. Yeah. 
Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Alright, let's point. see if we can. I bunch. There we go. You right. And then Anvil right. there, Jahira there. And Dogpile. Alright, perfect. I'm on it. Best. Yeah. You right. Alright, what do we Nature got? Do you have any spells oh, loaded up? We do. Nice. Get a regen on you. I believe he's looking a little worse for the wear. Get one off on him. Jahira will rub him down, make him feel better. The last thing we need is Khalid making a runner for it. As he is wont to do. So let's head on down here. We got ourselves a skull. Um, so let's get our party actually back in formation here. Otherwise, Minsk is going to be leading the charge. And as much as he enjoys leading the charge, I'm sure. It's not really going to do us any good if he starts taking arrows and halberds to the chest, so... I always felt that Minx would have been a better... Like, I think Minx and Khalid should have shifted roles. Like, I think Minx's, Minx's demeanor is much more in tune, I guess, um, or supplements, like a, a frontline fighter, um, like a berserker or barbarian, even. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You, you know, you can throw your comments down below if, if you agree. And I think Khalid should have been a ranger, you know, being a half elf and dating slash married to a druid. All right. So we're gonna save it up here because this is not 100 percent for certain. This will not, This is not guaranteed to work. He could just blow the chicken up. So we're gonna save scum it and make sure that we uh, we get the XP out of this. Why do I live in such Hello a again, my young town? adventurers. I see you have the needed component. Well, shall we see if our young man regains his life or if he'll eventually be someone's feast hall dinner? Alright, terrific. Spit it out. I'm on it. I have arms. Arms and hands and feet and. and oh, thank you, Master Thalantir. Thank you. Yes, yes, boy. Now be quiet a moment, blast it. The bracers are no longer on him. It is as I feared. Likely they either spent what magic they had in a single charge, or it is their want to be whisked away after inflicting the damage they do. I'd hoped to seal them away, but now it's certain they will fall into the hands of some other unfortunate fool. Tell me, Melikam, do you quite feel yourself again? I... I think so. Good. Though it was the greatest of luck you did not retain a wing for a limb, you always were a bit cockeyed, but I suppose that doesn't count. I suggest you remain here, however, so that I might keep an eye on you. If you insist on playing with the forces of magic, at least I should see that you understand them. Perhaps you will be a touch more cautious now that you've experienced what can go wrong. Yes, Master Thalantir. So, I suppose your master I must be. And you, Abdul Adrian. I trust you will be cautious in your travels as well. I wish you intelligence on your journeys. I would wish you luck, but it runs out much quicker than you would think. Good day. Alright, we got a level up. Dinah Hair did. Let's Whatever see what she's got for us. Let's level her up. She's a level three. Is that going to put her level four? Let's see. All right, still lacking in the proficiency slots, but that's to be expected with um, mages. I think they get one like every four levels, every five levels, something like that. So I'm not too worried about that. But we got some additional mage spells and her Thacko reduced. And some lore? Nope, some additional hit points and lore. Let's accept it. So yeah, she's level four. It must be every five levels, so that's all right. Let's check out her spell book, W for wizard. All right, we got a ton of spells. Well, let's see, we got a couple blinds. And we got three identifies, which I've used up, of course. Oh, what can we do? We got protection from petrification, which I don't really know at this point how useful that's going to be. Let's ditch that. And let's see what this is. I forgot when these level up. All 
Every two extra levels of experience, the wizard gains an additional missile. He has two at third level, so we have two now, I think, right? Right, is that what we have? We're at level four, huh? Hmm. Two at level four. Okay, so he, we have two. Okay, I think we can actually start making use of this thing here. So now we can actually start, because it's what, 1d4? 1d4 plus 1, so it's a anywhere from 2 to 5 damage. So it could be making, so we could be doing 4 to 10. Depending, two, 4 to 10. It's actually pretty good, I think. Okay, let's get that, get that, and, um, screw it, we'll get another, and we'll just go with that. Three identifies is enough for you now, right. I think. Sorted. I mean, we can always revamp it, of course. And let's just make sure we don't have anything to sell this dude. Uh, we do have that, but we can always sell that later. Oh, let's actually load her back up. Let's see what we have in here. Don't want to sell too many of our scrolls mm, quite yet. Cool. Well, quite as much help as I and thought. what is our reputation? Heroic 19. Okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm on it. We're almost where we need to be. Right, what's this then? We are... Adventure and steel on steel. The stuff of legend. Right, boo? Alright, so let's get out of here. Now let's go turn in uh, Basilis's bounty. This group shows... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get out of here before we get struck by lightning, which I have seen that happen. Orion would be proud of your actions. I'm sure he would, Khalid. Thank you. So let's head to Baragast. I'm on it. I think we'll go take a nap. And we'll take a nap ski and then we'll we'll get rolling on over. I think the temple is over here where we have to turn his uh, the bounty in. We have to go to a, some sort of weird temple. So let's see if we can get there. What's our These guys are having a hell of a time negotiating these streets. <laughs> Pathfinding in this game is atrocious, but such is life. Oh, God, I hate being sick. I don't know about you guys, but being sick is just awful, especially when you have to work. Fortunately, I don't have a very physical job at the moment. So it's not like it's it's slowing me down at all. It's just right. What's this then? Yeah, you, know, you got. I mean, work's never fun, right? All right, let's, let's see if we can't take a whiskey. whiskey. Show me your list of services. Let's go to the merchant. We'll rent that out. Come back here. Looks like we got some heels out. That'll rejuvenate Dinah Hair's right, spell, le spell list. And let's head on out. Let's see if we can't turn this bounty in before the end of the episode here. We'll get a ton of gold. I don't know if it'll. I, ish, I don't know if it'll boost our reputation up. I mean, I imagine it would. I mean, we just killed a necrophiliac creeper out in, hiding out in the bushes. So you'd imagine that our our reputation Salted. would go up as a result. But you never know. You never know how these things are going to go. Alright, so let's head on in here. It's got a nice little courtyard. Mm, 
Abdul doesn't know what he just walked into. He's like, whoa, there's a bunch of naked babes here. I thought this was a church. I'm on it. Welcome. The traveling adventurer is never turned away from a house of Lothander. By the morning, Lord, I see that you have the holy symbol of Basilis. It must have been a difficult battle to take down such a powerful man. Yours is a service that will not soon be forgotten. It is a pleasure to give you the full reward for which you have worked. Got a thousand experience and five thousand gold. That'll just that'll just do us nicely. Be cashing that in quite a bit. All right. So let's uh let's get out of here. Let's see what we can run into. Let's see what trouble we can get into. Let's see what trouble we can mix up here. We're gonna save Scummit because we haven't saved in a little while. I hate backtracking, even if it's like five minutes. Sometimes in game time, five minutes can just be an atrocious amount. This group shows promise exceptional. Let's see, I think there's some bandits down this way, somewhere around here. Let's see what we got for a map ski. Hmm. Oh, we got a lot of dogs. Spit it out. All right, let's chop them up. <coughs> uh, yes? You've a task? Let's talk more fight. I care not. They wish my ear for All right, All right let's <laughs> bash them up. Come on, RNG, you can do it. All right, Dino here's having a rough time with this. This is just downright silly. All right, yeah, right. take care of that. Jahira, yes, take care oh, of that one. Present authority figure. Jesus Christ, guys, come on. You've a task? Cool one. This is it. Minx is getting angry. He's, he's coming in. He's coming in hot. There we go. Go on, man. Let's get Minx back to there. Bunch. Let's actually swap out. Let's get your quiver full up. Same with you, Emowen. Let's get your quiver full up. All right, we're good. Spit it out. Ready to rock and or roll with this biatch. Right, what's this then? I thought we had some bandits around here, but Jesus. Plus, when you're sick, you have the stigma of being sick, so then everybody hates you because you're at work and you're sick, but you don't want to take the time off because you don't want to screw them over, and uh, I don't know. It's a lose-lose situation no matter how you look at it, I think. Let's see what this guy's got to say. This guy just looks like a hobo hanging out in the woods. Gal Galileus. Knowledge used wisely is the most powerful of tools. I'm sure it is. 30 degrees latitude, longitude varying greatly, moons in conjunction with... Pardon my lack of focus, but I've been studying the skies for some time now. Now I have a positively wicked kink in my neck, and I cannot seem to focus on anything closer than the horizon. Such are the pains of astrology, I suppose. And what have your observations revealed to you? Oh, I couldn't possibly tell you all that I see. There is so much raw data that must be interpreted and examined thrice over. It is a wonder that even I can assimilate all that information with no ill effects. Still, the long and short of it reveals interesting times ahead. But I if I did not know better, I would say that the heavens themselves look on with interest. Conflicts of great significance are on the horizon. Thank you, you weirdo. Sounds like a charlatan to me. If ever there was one. If ever there were a charlatan. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you no fight. You fight, you die. 
Give all gold and iron or you die to simple choices, what I say, or die, 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 die. We'll never surrender to you cut-rate marauders. Your hearts are brave. We rip them out and show you. Chill. Attack. Forward march! You rang. Handel's going after Can the big I fella. Where are you, Khalid? There you are. Sometimes oh, I get no. Need your pantaloons pressed? Yeah, he hasn't gone hostile Let's yet. Let's talk more fight. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. All right, and no. lastly, we'll start humming some stones at this fellow. Wow, there's a lot of them. Minsk is just a sniper, cool. see? He is just downright deadly with his... I mean, this is a hell of a melee going on here. Oh yeah, just get right in it. You point, I punch. Go on, man. Get over here! Let's talk more fight! Speak it out. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Yeah, that's what's up. What you want? This way. All right, terrific. We found the banditos, and let's loot their corpses as we are wont to do. Not gonna have to really find a whole hell of a lot, but you know, every little bit, every little bit. It must have been the big honcho because he had a little bit more. Come on, don't do that to me. All right, and yep. And there we go. You right, sorted. And I think that'll be as good a place as any to cut off the episode here. Where we'll next pick up, we'll finish up this map, and I think actually we might actually actually do a little bit of storyline. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about that. But thank you again for joining me. Show me all that loving down below, and I will see you again next time.